Hello, my fellow Griefers and Trolls. Eric the Plague Doctor, 981YT here, and Bikos. Welcome um, back to more Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, my favorite game of all time. So, in the last one, Bikos, we obtained the... Um, we. We continued the Knights of the Nine quest, where we obtained the boots, um, mace, and shield of the Crusader. Wait, was it was it the mace? Yeah, we obtained the boots, mace, and shield by doing, uh. Nature's Fury, Path of Righteous, and Wisdom of the Ages. And in this one, we will be doing Stendar's Mercy and the Faithful Squire. <laughs> so, yeah, let's talk to Sir Casimir, uh, wherever he is. Uh, here I he know is. where you may find the gauntlets of the Crusader, for I was the one who lost them. Though many know where they are, they are still lost. I believe there is something you must do in order to retrieve them. Would you listen to my tale and learn of the gauntlet's fate? Please tell when me. When the order fractured, I followed Sir Beric into war, taking the gauntlets with me. When it was over, I returned to Cyrodiil. I attempted to return to the service of the Nine, but the war had changed me. I no longer had sympathy for the weak or pity for the suffering. In the brief time I was there, I did more to hurt the chapel than help it. It was there that I was cursed. Cursed? What do you A mean? A beggar who came to the chapel each day for help tried my patience one too many times. I lost my temper and struck him. My blow landed harder than I had intended, and he fell to the floor dead, killed in the very chapel of the God of Mercy. I left the chapel at once, of course, but the damage was done. I was weak, constantly weary, and lacked the energy to do almost anything. And what about the gauntlets? Ah, yes. As proof of the deed, when I struck the poor man, the gauntlet slipped right off my hands and fell to the floor. Heavy as stone, they would not move. None could lift them. I suspect they lie there still, in Coral's chapel. You must prove to Stendar you are worthy to lift the gauntlets once more. Seek out the priests in Coral. Perhaps they can help you. Go with virtue. Hail, Sir Caridus. Hello. Hail, brother. What's going on with you? you find this waiting is I've heard that the no Cool. So as we collect each p um the knights are reforming. I'm really in the Knights of the Nine DLC if I'm honest. Well met.
Hail! You seem quite intriguing. Please, share your thoughts. What brings you here, my son? Ah, yes. The Gauntlets have been here for ages. I know only the basic story behind them. They're more of a novelty these days. My only real involvement with them these days is keeping the youngsters from hurting themselves trying to put the Gauntlets up. What is your interest in them, if I may? I've come to retrieve oh, them. I'm afraid that's quite impossible. They don't move. N not even a bit. As if they're the heaviest things in the world. Don't you know the story behind them? I'm not uh, familiar with all the details, but I know roughly what happened. Yes, well, I don't know the whole thing. A great many years ago, a knight of the old order did something terrible, and the gauntlets just fell off. They dropped to the floor right where he stood, and no one could lift them. It was a sign of the curse placed upon this knight by Stendhal, I believe. That curse still lingers on today, in fact. Poor Kellen. Who is Kellen? Oh, why, he's a descendant of that very knight from so long ago. The curse has affected his family all these years. He suffers from it now. He came here from Hammerfell seeking a cure, but... Ah, well, there's really nothing that can be done for him, I think. He may know more of the story than I. Perhaps you should speak with him, if he's feeling well enough. Farewell! Hi there. What is it? Is there a cure? Has Arelda found a cure? I know there's something he's not telling me. Ah, so you've heard it, have you? Terrible curse. Been in the family almost longer than anyone can remember. When I was younger, I could live with it. Wasn't so bad. But until it gotten worse over time, I'd come here to the place it all happened, in the hopes that something could be done. I fear I haven't much time left otherwise. Her elder has let me stay, mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. I swear he knows more than he tells. You've seen them, I assume. The only evidence of what happened so many years ago. Do you know that I thought perhaps I could lift them? That somehow this curse would be lifted if I could pick them up? I tried for hours, until my whole body ached, and I could barely move. I lay there on the floor next to them, weeping. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I've been at the end of my rope for far too long to be ashamed of anything. I don't know why they're still here. They're so heavy, and I'm so weak. What does Stendar want from me? Let's see. I've seen plenty of pity in people's eyes over the years. I grew up recognizing it. But with Arelda, there's something else there. And when he speaks to me, there are times I'd swear he sounds apologetic. Guilty, even. Why would that be? What reason does he have to hold back information? I know I'm a doomed man one way or the other. Speak to him if you can. Convince him to tell me what he knows as a dying man's last wish. Bye. Okay. Hello. Welcome, Knight Commander. I... I 
cannot face him. I, I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do it. I wish I could help him. Truly I do. But I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. What are you talking because about? I know what would lift it, but I cannot do it. The only way to free Kellen of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this, and so I am a failure. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him, and I fail Stendhal every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar? Pray to Stendar for the power to lift this curse? Mm. I've told you, the only way to lift the curse from Kellen is to pray to Stendar for the power to free him. But that means taking the curse on yourself. For life, as will all your children and your children's children. You too. There's a new shipment of weapons at Fire and Steel. Have you been recently? Okay. Come back to see the doomed man, have you? I don't know why they're still here. Be seeing you. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, so it's an ability. You... How did you... I feel good. I feel good. I don't feel like death. I feel like running. <laughs> Look at me. I can't believe it. I feel normal. Thank you so much. You have no idea what this means to me. I finally have a chance to get out and see the world. I'm not wasting another second of my life. And I'm forever indebted to you, friend. Farewell. How do you do? There's only two relics left. Well, 
net. Have you heard? Renoir got some new books in stock. He did. Excellent. I wonder if he got the lusty argument. All right, so we need a. Re I've been dying Whoa. to read that. Go on. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm not going. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. <laughs> Sir Knight, thank R.K. you are back. I have terrible news. Sir Roderick, I think he's dead. A holy knight like you, questing for the relics at the prophet's call. I was his squire. I believed he was chosen by the gods to reclaim the relics. What happened? At first things were going well. He prayed at all the shrines and received a vision, a disturbing vision. The shade of Sir Beric spoke to me was all he said. We must put him to rest. We traveled back and forth across Colovia. He was always asking about an old noble family, the Vlindrils. Finally, he found what he was looking for. We went to Underpaul Cave and there he fell. What was Sir Roderick he looking said that for? Sir Beric's tomb was an underpole cave, which is no cave, but some kind of buried keep. He had learned that Sir Beric had once been a questing knight, like us. He had found the greaves and sword of the crusader, but then turned to evil. Sir Roderick hoped to find the relics within Sir Beric's tomb, and he did. But we also found a terrible guardian, the wraith of Lord Vlindril, Sir Beric. You know where the relics yes, are? And I brought you. Sir Roderick shouted for me to take them. The Greaves, the Holy Relic, they're yours. The Wraith, it used it against Sir Roderick. I don't know how that evil thing could use the Holy Weapon, but it did. It screamed as it struck. Take it easy, you're safe now. I'm sorry. I remember Sir Roderick saying something about the sword before we went to Underpole. It may be important. He was worried that the sword may have been turned to evil, that it may have to be reconsecrated on the altar of its creator, the Divine Arche. That's all I remember. I hope it may help you. You did well, Lathan. Thank you, Sir Knight. I would ask a boon if I could, although I know I do not deserve it. Would you make me a Knight of the Nine? I want to dedicate myself to ridding the world of evil. I owe it to Sir Roderick. Rise, Sir Thank Lathan. you. I mean, thank you, Sir Knight. I will not fail you. Give me a moment to arm myself, and I will accompany you to Underpaul Cave to destroy the foul wraith. We meet again. I am here to join your order, having received a divine vision from Kinnereth herself. <laughs> I have been shown that to protect all Kinnereth's creations, I must take up your cause and be willing to lay down my life for you. So here I am. I have no doubt that our good works will be talked of in the eras <laughs> to come. This is cool. I accept. Welcome to the Thank order. Thank you. I shall serve the order to the best of my ability. I must change into something that suits a knight. Please excuse me. Hail, Sir Knight. My brother and I have heard that you are founding a holy order of knights, and we...
to offer you our swords. We've come all the way from Skyrim to join up. We can't claim any experience as knights, but we learn soldiering from our years in the Legion. Will you have us? I accept. You won't regret it, sir. You'll find us true-hearted and brave. I'll be back as soon as I've outfitted myself. Well met, Sir Knight. Did I not say we would meet again? I am here and ready to serve. I will join your order, and together we will fight this new threat against the Nine. Glory to the Nine. This is cool how we're all... Greetings, Sir Knight. Bye. Hail, Commander. Greetings, Sir Knight. Ah. Sergius Terrianus, at your service. Thedret and I go way back, and he said there was need of a blacksmith here. It'd be an honor to provide what service I can. So, you need anything repaired, you come see me. He's seeing you. This is really cool, though. Like, we're rebuilding this order and not just finding the relics. This is cool that all we're missing is the sword, though. Look at us. Millennial White Strake will uh, definitely uh, be proud.
All right. This might actually end up being what I wear from now on. Coffins. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this. This looks like some sh shit out of a horror movie. Which, speaking of horror movies, I am getting um, my shit uh, for Outlast back up and running. We actually finally got the power back on last night. That only took three videos, but we got the power back on. Why I don't use followers. There we go. minor wounds is what we have equipped. That's good. Rakatash and the Nine! chest. That must be the right.
Sir Roderick is avenged, and you have recovered the sword of the Crusader. I'll return to the Priory and give my fellow knights the good news. Farewell. Fuck out of here. So I wonder if all those knights uh, at the are gonna be like followers and such. God. Umaril. Okay, we want to once to go back. Chapter 9. That is a blade fit for a crusader.
Lord Crusader. The prophet is here. He's just arrived. He seemed to know you were coming, told me to wait for you, and here you are. Come. He is preaching to the assembled knights in the chapel. You should speak to him at once. You have stepped from the humble shadows of obscurity and into legend. No feat you have accomplished in your life compares to what you have become. You are an embodiment of Pelinul Whitestrake, the bane of Umarul the Unfeathered. The time has come for you to fulfill your destiny. Umara lies hid in the ancient fane of Garlas Malatar. You must go there and destroy him. I'm ready then? No. Should you face Umaru, you would suffer the same fate as Pelino. The times change, and even the shape of the divine itself must change with it. Where once there were eight, now one more stands with them, and they have become nine! You mean Talos? Why? With the apotheosis of Tiber Septum, the face of the Divine was transformed! Talos ascended, and the eight became... <laughs> nine! So, although you wear the armor of the gods, it is... Incomplete. A relic of the old ways and the old gods. How do I destroy Umaril As then? a proven guardian of this realm and a warrior the likes of which have not been seen in millennia, Talos grants you his sacred blessing with the ancient gifts of the eight and the new gift of the one. You are ready to face... What does the blessing it do? It will allow you to follow Umaril into the spirit realm upon his death. It will allow you to destroy him, body and soul, utterly and for all time. You must first kill his living body. While beyond the power of most mortals, this is only the lesser of your two tasks. His Daedric nature allows his spirit to escape into oblivion after death. Oh, this is what Pelinor learned upon defeating Umaril the first time. But you can do what Pelinor could not. The blessings of Talos will allow you to follow Umaril's spirit when it leaves his body. This you must do, and you must not fail. You will not, because the Nine fight with you. I'm ready. Your knights will assemble at Garlas Malatar and await you there. Gather all those who you deem worthy. Not all who enter those halls shall return. Those who fall in service of the Nine will live on forever in the halls of their fathers. I wish you well on your quest, Crusader. We are depending on you. Greetings, Sir Knight. Hail, Commander. So we're the leader of our very own knightly order. like on the other side um jesus that's a very long way away 
But it looks like um, the um defeat of Umaril the Unfeathered is uh, nearing ahead. And soon we will be able to uh, defeat him and then we'll be done with Knights of the Nine. Let's actually see if we have any levels ups available. I don't want to go into this unprepared. So this is the first time I have actually played through the Knights of the Nine DLC, as I've said in previous videos and streams, but like... I'm enjoying it, it's pretty cool. Alright, that looks like the place down there, given it's the only alien ruin for miles. <laughs> but this is gonna be fucking cool. Commander. I wonder if we can recruit some of the some of our friends from the blades to this. Probably not, but it'd be cool. We are going to defeat Umaril the Unfeathered, body and soul, once and for all. Why are you running? You started this. You started this! Why are you running? This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. Ah! Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving.
follow him into the spirit world. And face the light. Breathe again and receive your reward. You have completed your divine task. You have restored the order. You have defeated the enemy of the night. The order shall serve as the sword and the shield. succeeded where we could not. You and your knights have held true to your purpose. At long last, our purgatory is at an end. We go to the glory of the Nine to serve in their host in the life beyond this one. You may call upon our spirits when you need us. Simply pray at our tombs and will grant you a blessing from the Nine. May your sword serve the Nine all the days of your life, Mercy.
Sir Belric? You Eric? redeemed my soul from the evil that had ensnared me. For that, I am forever in your debt. The old bitterness that seemed so important to me in life. What is that now? How to weigh that against my very soul? The evil took hold of me the day that I slew Sir Caius on the Priory Steps. I baited him, knowing his temper, and then I killed him when he drew against me. I killed him in cold blood with the Holy Sword itself. I could have disarmed him or wounded him, but a cold pride had taken hold of me and so I slew him and went to war and never returned. The evil grew upon me until I became cruel. A tyrannical ruler, a terror upon the land. In death, evil held me even tighter than in life. Thanks to you, that all is behind me. Sir Caius and I will go to Etheria side by side, as of old. The gods are truly merciful. I took the sword. with virtue. That ring on our finger looks fucking dope. Um, but yeah, those are the relics. It's cool. Naturally, we're going to wear this all the rest of the game and use this as a base of operations. Let's go see if we're not dead. Lord Crusader, how can this be? You, you're alive. It's a miracle. I heard voices in the Undercroft, and I came to investigate. You vanished in Garlis Valentine. After the battle, we searched further into the ruin and found you next to Umaro's corpse. You had no wounds on your body, but you were dead. I saw it with my own eyes. You did not draw breath. We laid you to rest in the Undercroft. We kept your death a secret. We feared what would happen if our enemies thought you were dead. Even death cannot stop the Crusader. I can see that. I... You'll have to excuse me. I need a moment to collect my thoughts. We found Umaril's body to yours, but it seemed that you had met the same fate as Pelinor Whitestrake. We didn't know. Tell me, Umaril, what happened? Did you succeed in pursuing him into the spirit realm as the Prophet said? I have severed his very soul. And he is destroyed. We've won. And you're alive. I have to tell the others.
Knights of the Nine, hear me. Today we have witnessed undeniable proof of the strength and the might of the gods we serve. Slain in battle with the dread Umaro, by the grace and mercy of the Nine, the Crusader lives again. How can this be, you ask? What of our foe? What has become of Umaro the Unfeathered? Umaro has been slain by the Crusader. His very spirit cast into the void and destroyed for all eternity. He will never rise again. Let us give thanks to the Nine. By their power, the Crusader has rid the world of Umaro forever. Hail the Lord Crusader! Hey, hey, Lord, Lord, hey, hey, the the Lord, 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 Lord is arisen. I find myself here at your disposal. I want to make up for the mistakes I've made and devote myself Lord. fully to the faith. If it pleases you, I would join your order and serve the Nine at your side. What say you? Welcome. Thank you. It means a great deal to me. Excuse me while I gather the equipment I need. Not sure if everybody died. Yes, uh, if anybody died. Come on. Like... This is cool. Um, we completed the Knights of the Nine DLC. I might see what else there is to do. Other than the, um... Other than the Shivering Isles DLC. But, yeah, um... We could probably do some of these quests. So, yeah, we'll see, though. So, until the next one, Bikos, this has been Eric, the Divine Crusader, the Plague Doctor, 981YT, and I will see all of you wonderful people in the next one. So, until then, bye! And you'll all be dead by down.